Okay, so time for an update on the crystal cells. This is my long-term test that I've had running. And uh, these two have been going for over two years now. Two and a half years basically on this one and uh, well over two years on this one. This one back here just started and it's been running for about 100 days or so. But uh, anyway, what I've done is I have these set so that this LED goes through a small uh, jewel ringer circuit, and you can find that information about that at laserhacker.com. That small circuit basically pulses the LED. And I just let this idle along here in kind of a low blinking mode like that. And like I said, it's been going two and a half years. Now, I can turn this up. So let me just go ahead and turn the intensity up on the LED. And you can see that after two and a half years, um, I can still crank this little guy right up like that. And uh, that's just really impressive to me. Now, the one thing that, that's going on with this particular cell here is that after, uh, you know, two and a half years of, of running like this, there's been a lot of pressure from the bottom of the copper cup pushing up on the magnesium rod. And if you look at some of my early videos, you'll see that this, when I first created it, this magnesium rod was flush with the copper pipe. But you can see now it's just completely getting jacked up from the bottom and coming right out of there. So that's something you got to think about in the design on these. Um, I have not seen that so much on these because I think the rods are so long that you get a lot of um, holding friction from the sides along the pipe. But yeah, this motor's been running for um, over two years now. Let me just show you one thing that has happened. On one of these cells on this one, the copper pipe actually uh, split open on the seam just from the pressure. So let me just uh, focus in on there. You can see that the seam is just ripping open. So there's some incredible uh, pressures and forces going on inside the crystal cells over time as you have the crystals uh, growing and literally pushing your magnesium cores up and out. So yeah, that's just a, a quick update. Let me go ahead and turn the uh, LED back down to its normal run mode. And uh, there's definitely some interesting things going on with these cells. My personal take on these cells after doing this amount of testing is that these cells are going to run a very long time. I, I don't see them going out anytime soon. You can see this, the diameter of the rod here. There's been some corrosion, but it's still a, a large chunk of magnesium. So why do they run so long? This is my personal theory on this. What I think you have going on is you've got a galvanic action uh, cell, a traditional galvanic action cell. But what makes these run for so long is the fact that this crystal material grows. And as it grows, you can see the, the incredible pressures that it creates. And what I think that does is as the magnesium uh, corrodes, as your sacrificial uh, elements corroding away, I think the crystals keep growing into the pits, the cracks, the crevices of the magnesium rod. So I think it's actually the growth of the crystals that's pressing into the magnesium rod under all this pressure and agitating it and keeping a fresh, bare um, surface to the magnesium. So normally the magnesium would build up some sort of protective layer against uh, the corrosion. A magnesium exposed to air, you'll see that on the surface of the magnesium. This crystal action just keeps pressing into the magnesium core. So as your magnesium uh, core erodes, you've got this great crystal action just pressing in, making sure that you get good, strong contact against your magnesium rod. That's my personal theory so far. We'll let these keep running. We'll see what happens. Um, when I set this long-term test up, I had no idea that this thing would run for anywhere over a year, let alone you know two and a half years now. And there really doesn't seem to be any end in sight at this point. We definitely have corrosion going on at some point. These magnesium rods will uh, disappear, but that seems to be uh, far in the future still. And of course, I've got the, uh, the super long run design back here. So anyway, just a quick update. Um, let's all keep experimenting, keep sharing our results. And if you have interest on building these uh, crystal cells, check out my uh, other videos on the topic. All right, talk later.